Hey guys, it's me, Daniel. Uh, this is the new Perplexus series, and I will show you a walkthrough solve of the rookie. So just get to the start. So you'll roll it here. Bring it down. Alright. Ah, the stupid lighting. You can't even see the ball. Barely. So now what we're going to do is drop in a hole, and you'll end up under here, the lighting. You know, under this hole right here, there, you can see it from that angle. You want to bring it out, roll it, and, no, you can't see this stupid ball, finally. So, this is like a ramp, rail kind of thing. And so, it's just like a platform, but it's a rail, you can more easily fall off. Now right here is so weird. Then roll over. Can't even see it. Oh my gosh. And you'll roll under and you'll go here. So you will roll under that track right there. Finally, a good angle where you can actually see the ball without the stupid lighting. And you'll go around here. And basically, it's just a bunch of tracks. You just keep following the numbers. Here is... I really like this track. Uh, it's like stairs. So you can just roll down. Whee! But don't go too fast. You can fly off. I've done that before. So, you're gonna go here. Go around this. Alright. Alright, this takes intense concentration. Alright, there you go. And then, this is like a big railing part. There's a lot of railings. But it's like that almost throughout the whole rookie perplexus. So you're just gonna have to deal with that. So here, I got stuck on this for a while. You drop into a hole, but you see it from an under angle, you're going to have to keep turning it, and then you'll just end up, like, there. You can see it there. And you're going to see the tube, which is where you'll go soon, pretty soon, I think. Go around. I'm sorry if you can barely see the ball. This isn't exactly the best angle. You'll go down these stairs. Come on. And you go down here. And then take this, just go around. And then you will end up right next to the start. And eventually you'll end up. Oh no, I was already there. Yeah. Oh, you turn it at a certain angle. There. No lighting. Good. I'm looking through the camera, so I have to be careful on which way is the gravity. So, because the camera is tilting downwards a little bit. Because of all the knob catches, I have to screw everything into place. So, I don't think you can see it. Oh, you can. Oh, whoa, that was really close. Anyway, it's kind of like that. You kind of just turn around and go all the way around on the railing. And so, anyway, like I was saying, uh, you don't know where the center of gravity is because the camera is pointing slightly downwards. Actually, it's pointing downwards a lot. It's like around 45 degrees down, so I have to do it pretty low. So you go here, and like I said, you'll be going to this tube. You roll it around. And your ball, uh, I don't think you see the tube, come right there. Uh, right there, see the ball right there. Uh, it looks really tiny from a distance because of the lighting. Anyway, I'm down these stairs. I usually don't turn around when I'm speed running, but just to show you guys, right there. And turn it. Here. 
No! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay, finally. It was pointing downwards, so I didn't know how far I was leaning and everything like that. So I kind of skipped onto the other side of the railing. <laughs> that was really close. Go down the bluish slash purple stairs. It's like a very purple. It's like really obvious. It's like completely purple, but for some reason on here it looks blue with a hint of purple. Alright. Concentrate. Alright, there you go. Go through here. Go through the squiggly. Now we're getting close. No, uh, go here, and we passed another of my checkpoints, so we're here, I'm gonna start over, uh, not, like, not, like, all over, but, like, I'll show you my checkpoint that I made up, and see, hang there, instead of dropping on the second, you drop on the first, and so that, there's the first point, and then the second, the later one, and, I can uh, just skip right to the end almost. Uh, this is 70 tracks. The original is 100, I believe. And the Epic is 125, Addictable is 137 or something. Anyways, I'll tell you the rest in the other videos. So that's the end. It's like a little igloo, so it can't fall out. It's like a one way thing. So you're like, how do you get it out? You just keep tilting it and you just can let it fall out. So my friend Brayden, uh, he also has uh, all three preposterouses. He has a twist too. So he has Rookie, Original, Epic, and Twist. Uh, so as you can tell, I have a little bit more than him. Um, so pull it down here. Come on. So he also invented this checkpoint, but it's like kind of hard, but it's kind of worth it. So that drop, like. And the second last part, right there, the one that curves all the way to the end, uh, you've seen it. So right here, you want to just, like, uh, you want to actually hop it into that part. Go on. There, wait. Oh, I hopped onto here. Oh, but it's near, it's near the same place. It's There. It's kind of like that, except you had when where that drop right there, you'd hop directly towards it. But I wasn't able to do it right now, so uh, yeah, that's it for the rookie. Uh, see the next video for the original. <laughs> Bye.